Hello guys, how's it going? And today I'm going to talk about remote control competition rock crawling, which is where remote control enthusiasts get together and test their trucks on trails. Now, thousands of kids around the world play with their RC trucks, they do jumps and donuts and have heaps of fun, but rock crawlers require more skill, in the workshop and on the trails. You need to maintain your rig and tune it to perfection so you can tackle the hardest and gnarliest routes out there with the hugest, boldest boulders against the best of the best. Now, before the competition, it's important to get to know your rig, know what it can do and what it can't, and what, what is likely to break, and make sure all your electronics work properly, and that all your batteries are charged. To make competitions fair, there are different categories and events throughout the day. They divide these into groups, like the kids class, and the um, factory SEX10 class, the frame rail class, the bomber class, and the tube chassis class. But depending on the size of the event, there can be more or less categories. There are various routes marked out on the day, all signed and lined with spray paint. The aim is to complete the track in the shortest time, but you will be penalized for hitting gates. You can't walk on them either, so watch your step. Using reverse, going out of bounds, or touching your truck for any reason, you will be penalized also. If you need to flip your truck, you will also be assessed a penalty. The whole point is to have some fun, but, but to get maximum results from your rig, it is important to consider some basic physics of rock crawling. A longer wheelbase truck will be more stable and better at going up slopes, but a shorter wheelbase will give you better maneuverability on tight sections of the track. Also, lots of people think the more articulation the better, which is not necessarily true. For if you have too much suspension, you will get torque twist where the body twists to one side, which is not good for the performance of your rig. The right amount of suspension is when you can fit only one wheel underneath your flex truck. When you are not using your truck, try to keep its wheels off the ground. You can place it on a stand to keep your wheels and shocks in a good shape, because otherwise your crawling wheels will get flat spots, which is like having lopsided wheels. If you're going to upgrade your rig, the best place will be on broken parts first. But once it is reliable, a good way to spend some money is on a good set of wheels, because your wheels are what connects your truck to the ground. There is no point having lots of power and really strong drivetrain if the wheels are hard and not grippy. Most good ready-to-run trucks come with a decent pair of wheels out nowadays, so at least maintain your wheels or keep a good clean set, especially for the competition. Ground clearance is big key to rock crawling but it is always a trade-off. A higher ground clearance will help you get over things, but will raise your overall weight, making the rig less stable on slopes. The best way of getting a higher rig without major modifications is to get bigger wheels, but then your rig will be geared differently. It will be faster, and the wheels will make your truck look less realistic to scale. You have to understand that ground clearance helps your rig at crawling, and so does having your weight close to the ground. So, there's a trade-off you can't have a good ground clearance and have your weight low to the ground. So if you keep wheel most of your weight in your wheels by getting bead locks, because bead locks are heavier, or metal rims, that'll keep your weight low. Last of all, speed. You want torque as well as speed, so you can't have both, because you don't have a working gearbox that changes gears. So you need to choose before you're on the track. The more turns your motor has, the more times the cop has been wrapped around the motor's armature. This gives you more torque, but less turns will be faster with less torque, so it is your choice to compromise. Some parts though, you might need some momentum to get over some obstacles, so it's best to keep your speed at around 10 km an hour. Soon your trail track will be ready and modded up for a competition in which you will have a great time no matter how well you do. And just remember the key rock crawling tuning aspects. To not have too much suspension, to keep your weight low and to the front, to get good wheels and tyres, to tune your ground clearance appropriately, to keep your speed down, and last of all, have heaps of fun. Alright, so if there's anything else you'd like to know, um, comment down below, I'll do my best to help. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and um, if you want to see more Ultra RC videos, subscribe, and um, don't forget to press the bell icon as well. So um, yeah, thanks for watching Ultra RC, and see you later. <laughs>